I'm going to uh, call down the uh, seniors now, please, if you guys could come on down and sort of stand over on this side here. I would also ask senior parents, anyone that's, that's going to pin the students, to sort of come on down here as well. So seniors, come on down, all eight of you. Okay, so um, I'd just like to, I'd like to say a couple of words uh, about the seniors uh, first, and then as after I'm done, I'll, I'll talk quickly about each senior, and then after that, um, so one of the fan parents will give you a uh, flower so that you can pin on your uh, son or daughter, okay? Um, so, you know, obviously, guys, with being here uh, for four years, most of you, you really left your mark um, on this group, as every senior class does. And, you know, th this year has been, been a really tough year as far as performances and, and that type of thing goes, but, you know, I've been really impressed by your leadership, by, you know, not, you know, not feeling bad for myself and saying, oh, you know, woe is me, it's not going to be the same as it has been, and just being thankful that we, we were able to do anything at all. And, and again, that really comes from you guys. It comes from the leadership of this band and, and you know, whether or not you have an actual leader position or not, you are still all leaders. People look up to you and, and sort of take what you do and say, well, that's what I'm supposed to do. You know, if a senior is doing that, then, then that's my job. And again, you guys have all just done a, done a fantastic job. So first, uh, I'm going to talk about Sophia Jones. Um, Sophia, <laughs> so, so Sophia did not come to us as a freshman. Uh, she, she came through the Winter Guard program. Um, when she was a sophomore, right? So then you were a sophomore, and then her, jun her junior and senior year is when she, she marched in the uh, marching band. Um, but, you know, Sophia has just done a great job, has really grown as a performer and as a person just through the, the, the two years that, that, that I've known her. You know, Sophia's, again, not a student that I know, have known uh, like for a long time, but just in the short amount of time that, that I've known her, she's really done a great job. Um, you know, just a lot of fun. She's, you know, generally always happy, always there. She's um, been more responsible as the years have gone on, more reliable, so she's had a little bit more responsibility and has just done a great job and it's been a pleasure to see her grow over these last few years. So, Sophia, thank you very much for moving here. <laughs> Next is Shana Fusco. Shana. <laughs> if you had told me four years ago that Shana was going to be a leader in the band, or like a captain of the color guard, I would have told you that you were absolutely insane. <laughs> and it's it's because so so when when Shana was was a freshman, she she played alto saxophone, but that's not really what Shana plays. It was the type of thing where you know she's an oboe player, right? We have lots of other oboe players here, and oboe was one of the only things that you really can't do in the marching band. <laughs> Right? So it was like, okay, Shanna, here's an Elton. Right, and, and she did a nice job, but you could definitely tell that it was not something that she really needed to do. Okay, and she, and she played alto through her, through her freshman and sophomore years, and then, again, it was your sophomore year, you went into the winter guard, right? And everything changed at that point. Like, you could tell, and, and Shanna's a very good musician, she's like all that, but again, you, you could really tell that she just wasn't the real about marching band, right? And then as soon as she hit the guard, it was a completely different situation. She became so much more serious about what she was doing. She became so much more serious about um, being a leader and taking on the leadership re responsibility, which she has done fantastically. Um, so again, Shana, thank you very much for all of your hard work. You will be here. Ready, yes. So, 
Those of you who know Maddie, Maddie is a goofball. <laughs> you would think. He wants you guys sometimes to think that he is. But he is very, very serious about this family. I think he, he, he um, really cares deeply about this group. Came in as a freshman, like most freshmen do, pretty quiet. But then that wore off really, really quick. <laughs> right, his sophomore year. And, and he's done a great job of, of bringing so much energy to the band. Matt is the type of kid that you love to have on the field because he is like the energizing man. He is just like always going and always on. And you know, hey guys, we said, reset, like the reset. And I him But seriously, like in a positive way, it, it's, it's not to be a goofball because it is infectious. Like it, you get other kids around him to do the same thing. And um, you know, through that, Matt has become a, a leader this year. He's, he's the section leader of the uh, low brass, has done just a, just a great job, you know, always here early, always helping out, always doing things that, you know, he, he's not necessarily being told to do, but he just knows to do. Um, and it has been a great um, experience for me to sort of watch Matt grow in, in that way. And um, I just want to say thank you for all your enthusiasm, Matt. You will be missed. So um, there's a part of my job that's going to be um, sort of changing beginning next year. And uh, so I've been teaching in, in Reading. I've been a teacher in the Reading Public Schools now for, for 21 years. Um, I've been teaching the marching band actually for 31 years. I started Woo! teaching the marching band when that's I was a sophomore in college. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Ms. Vaughn. I will get you later. So that's, um, and, and so for, for 15 years of that time, I, I also taught at, at Coolidge. Um, and it, it was always great being able to teach at Coolidge and at the high school because you would get to know the kids for, for so long. Like, I, I feel very fortunate to be able to know most of my students for four years and to be able to see them change in that amount of time. Well, this class, some of these kids, the kids I'm going to talk about next, I've known for seven years. They were my last year at Coolidge, they were in my sixth grade then. Right, so I remember literally the first day that they picked up their instruments. And, yeah, oh boy. And then, like, all the way to their senior year now. And, and it makes me so happy just to, um, to be able to be a part of that. And again, just to see the growth in the students. That, I mean, I, it, it's one of the greatest parts of my job to be able to see that much time. In a, in a kid's life. Um, so first I'm going to talk about Matt Mahana. I have a, please. I have good memory of, of Matt Mahano coming into the multi-purpose room over at Coolidge with his little bell set and drum pad and all of this stuff and you know pulling it behind him and being just so diligent about like setting things up the right way and getting it, getting it all kind of organized which is really weird for a percussionist. Right? I mean, to be like that meticulous about stuff. And, and I knew that, that Matt was, was going to just take to this really, really well. And, and he has. Um, he, he, just, he just has it together. It seems like he always just has a plan and, and knows what to do. Um, he's, he's done an excellent job this year as the uh, drumline captain in, in, a, in a drum line that's really pretty young. Uh, you know, eight members in the drum line, only three of them are playing the same instrument they played last year. And even, you know, some of them, it's their first year in the drum line. So Matt has done a great job being their leader, really showing them what to do, telling them what their expectation, you know, what, what the expectation is of, of the drum line. And it's been a pleasure just to see him grow. You know, he's been involved in all kinds of other, you know, groups, the stage band and all these other things. So uh, Matt, thank you very much. You'll be missing. Will Mary is next. So again, I, I have those same memories of, of Will in the multi-purpose room when we first started out at uh, Coolidge, and and I can remember, um, you know, so sort of how. Um, 
like I, I just saw Will and I and, and knew that he was gonna be a good trumpet player. He sort of took to the trumpet fairly naturally in the beginning. And, and I don't mean that I don't mean it in the way where he didn't have to work hard. He did. He worked very, very hard. And, but but you could tell that he just liked to play the trumpet and that this was gonna be special for him. Um, and, and again, he's just he, he's worked really, really hard over the years been in just about every musical group that you can be in at the high school, being involved in, in music outside of school with his friends, which is just awesome. And then, you know, taking it to the next level, again, you know, he was he's a planner, right? He, he has to have a plan for everything, which is why he's done such a great job as the functions manager here, and why he did such a good job this year as the uh, trumpet section leader. So again, Will, thank you for all of your hard work. Uh, you will be there.
It's actually quite the contrary. He wouldn't stop playing <laughs> the clarinet constantly. Like, I mean all the time. Right, we're done. Great, we're done. Okay, and like I can remember, he sat right there. <laughs> like literally, and, and as a music teacher, that's great. Like, isn't that what, what you want? We just love playing the clarinet. Except they had a hundred other kids in that same room, and we just can't have that, right? Um, but again, Sean learned to control himself. Did a great job, has then moved on to the bass clarinet and tennis saxophone, which he plays very, very well. Um, again, when, when he came into the band, he, he was a lot like Mike in the sense of he was one of those blue kids. He was a kid who you could put in any situation, ask him to do anything, and he would, have, he would have a positive impact on that particular group. And then his junior year, he decided to take up the worst job in the world, which is being a drum major. And then for some reason, oh, you wait, D. Oh, you wait. And then the next year, he decided to do it again. <laughs> right? and, and has just you know done a great job of being um, that person, sort of that go-between, in-between the staff and the students, which again is not an easy position to, to put a kid into. Um, but, but Sean has just done a great job in, in that role. Um, again, a very good musician, has been in all, almost all of the different groups here at RMHS, the stage band, the symphonic band, marching band, and does other groups outside of this, I know, um, and has really grown as a musician and as a leader. And I just want to say thank you, Sean. You will be there. And um, I just was reminded that seniors, before you guys leave, make sure that you take the posters that are down all along here uh, that, that was made for you. So again, guys, thank you so much. We really appreciate all of the hard work that, that you have done past these four years. As, as I was saying I've got before, you, you, know, you have really been a great part of the tradition of this band, and that is something that we all take very seriously. Um, so now get out to your open session.